One of the most anticipated rock festivals of the Midwest returns to the area this week. Our Brenda Mack has a first look into this year's Moondance Jam as they celebrate a quarter century milestone. 25 years later, Moondance Jam Festival is still not missing a beat. We love it. We're feeling it. I feel bad for anybody who wasn't here. True story. <laughs> Got smack Chicago and Boston. These are just some of the biggest names ready to rock it out in Walker this week. For me, it's Firehouse yeah. tomorrow at 3 o'clock. But more than that, it is the experience that makes Moondance so special for many. It's, our it's happy a happy place. place. <laughs> and we're best friends, so this yeah. is our yearly vacation. Yes. We, we look forward to it like three months in advance, and now it's here, and then it goes by too quick. It's a family-run run operation. Everybody's friends, and everybody loves and respects each other. And I've, I've been at other places many more years, but uh, this place has been going for quite some time. And it's, a, it's the best place I've ever worked at. And only its first day, here you can see a constant flow of jammers just coming through the festival, all to celebrate 25 years of rock and roll. 165 days I've had to wait for this. <laughs> Moondance was first started by a couple with a love for music. Who would have thought we made it 25 years? A quarter century milestone wasn't part of the plan. It just kept growing, even when times got tough. Once he passed away, I just immediately knew I have to at least do 20 for our staff and for the jammers. There was just no way I could just drop it. And this milestone is even more so significant for her. I have wanted Chicago for years. My husband always claimed he tried to get it from me, but I don't know if he really did. So since he's been gone for six years now, I've worked it. So I know I've tried to get him. And so we finally got him. I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> And the dynamic is changing. The festival has brought on newer artists because rock lives on no matter the age. This is our opening tour of America. We've, uh, we've wanted to come here for a long time. Yeah. And we're really pumped. We, we, you know, this is this is this is good. This is nice. This is really good. The first act will go on tomorrow at three o'clock, and the festival goes throughout Saturday in Walker. Brenda Mack, Lincoln News. General admission tickets are still available online or at the door. Organizers are also reminding the crowd to stay hydrated throughout the weekend. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.